quick segment for uh, gym clips. Just woke up a second ago. I'm really tired. Worked late last night, but it's time to hit back, and that's what matters. So, uh, yeah, I got my pre mixed up. And next clip will be me hitting something of back. I don't know if I'm starting with bent row or lap pull down, but we'll see. All right, uh, today I started off with barbell bent rows. I know you're seeing the uh, lap pull downs right now, but I didn't end up recording the barbell bent rows. Uh, it was a little busy over in the uh, section of the gym where the uh, deadlift platform was that I was doing the barbell bent rows on. And there were some extremely lean striated motherfuckers in there. And honestly, they intimidated me, so I did not want to set up my tripod in front of them. All that said, though, uh, recorded these lap pulldowns, ended up just kind of alternating right to left, back and forth. As far as, like, rest periods, there wasn't really any. Um, usually when I'm, like, alternating back and forth, the rest period is however long it takes me to switch over to the uh, other side. But uh, yeah, probably just gonna let this play and Alright, so uh, here I just realized it was too heavy, so instead of uh, like cutting the set off there and coming back to it, I just turned it into a drop set. Not like that special or fancy or anything, but just, I guess, narrating what I was thinking during the lift. Alright, so here I just switched to the chest supported row machine. 
I did have a rep range in mind, but it wasn't concrete. I would, uh, like, once I got to, I don't know if you could call it failure. At some points, I couldn't complete a full rep. I would do a little, like, some partials, and at some point, it would just hurt too much to do another one. I guess that's when I'm just being a little bitch. But, uh, when I get to the point where I'm being a little bitch... Oh. Okay, so right now... Hold that thought. Right now, there's a sea shanty version of Nickelback's Rockstar playing. And it's pretty fucking fire. But, uh... What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, when I was being a little bitch, I would just, uh... I would be a little bitch for a second. I would be like, oh, this hurts so much. And I would say, I need more. I need to do more. That wasn't good enough. And I should do more. So I would just attempt to do more. Then I would rest and I would do the next set. So, uh... I don't know if that's a myo rep. I don't know if that's a rest pause. I'm just keeping myself from bitching out. That's what I call it. Here I was experimenting with not dropping, but going back to the higher handles as a little finisher after the main set. Felt pretty good. I could definitely do better with not rocking at the hip so much or like leaning back. I also think I had the seat set a little too high. But here I switched over to, I don't know if to call them laying lateral raises or laying rear delt fly, chest supported rear delt fly, chest supported dumbbell rear delt fly. I don't know. I wasn't really feeling them, but someone was on the rear delt fly machine, so I figured I'd give these a try, but wasn't having much luck. Just kind of started feeling it more in my traps and less in my uh, shoulders. Alright, and here we're over to the rear delt fly. I was really just trying to spam the shit out of these. I mean, spam them as much as I could without getting too much trap activation. Find the lying dumbbell chest supported rear delt fly. And then face pulls are really hard for me to... Hit the rear delts effectively without just annihilating my traps. <laughs> there, uh, I plopped down on that seat too hard and it dropped to the bottom. So, I need to stop plopping my fat ass down so hard, goddammit.
here I'm doing the similar thing of like going to what I perceive to be failure and then breathing for a second and just either getting a couple more reps or just squeezing really hard on the movement. But just spamming the shit out of these. I need more rear delt. Everyone does, but... I really want that 3D effect. Not that I have, like, any aspirations to compete in bodybuilding by any means. Uh, I don't have any desire to do that, for the record. Not that anyone's asking, but... I really just want a 3D delt because I think it looks cool. And uh, I would like to be able to look in the mirror and see one. Also, I'm sure rear delts aren't going to be a bad thing to have in a uh, strength context. Can't hurt anything, that's for sure. Alright, so at this point, I'm just fucking spamming the shit out of these, like, mindlessly. I'm just utilizing the dog within me. Letting the dogs out, if you will. Also, Buck Cherry comes on, and I get hype as shit, and it helps me power through this, so, uh... Thank you, Buck Cherry. All right, after uh, back, I ended up doing some tricep. Just uh, supersetting the... Uh, this is like half a V-bar, half a straight bar. Like, I had a, a V closer in, and then it was straight on the ends. So, kind of switched between 
gripping it on the ends and gripping it on the V a little bit, but just supersetting that with a single arm tricep extension. So what I would do was uh, I would do the push down or the, ex the, the straight bar extension, whatever the fuck. And I would go over and <clears throat> just uh, rep out single arm extension. And I would just pace around for about 45 seconds to a minute, repeat. But uh, yeah, got a really good uh, tricep pump after back. Been really enjoying hitting the, I guess it's not antagonistic, but when you're doing pulling movements, your bicep already gets hit a lot. So if you want to do biceps after pull, you'll get a good burn. But that's really coming from more of the pre-exhaustion of it's already been utilized so much in the day. And because of that, you're not going to really be able to, uh, like, put much load on them. Not that, like, you should load biceps super heavily. I mean, volume grows everything, but I just like being able to... Work some arms after the main movements and have them feel fresh. Also notice like if I do a push day, like a pure push day, and I hit chest and shoulders and then I go and hit triceps. Well, my triceps are already so used up from the chest movements, the shoulder movements that by the time I start wailing on them with extensions, they're, they're already, they're done. They've already thrown in the towel for the day. And at that point, it's just like asking for tendonitis or for like a little tweaks or injuries. So I've been finding a lot more luck hitting the arm muscle that wasn't utilized during the compound lifts. But yeah, just gonna finish out the workout, spamming triceps, and uh, that's all I got for the day. Happy training to y'all. Peace.